Greetings folks, this is Sarah with Obadiah's. Today we are looking at the Windhager 350 XL pellet boiler. So we are in the installation process right now. This is not the finished product. This here is the main boiler with the hopper that attaches to the side. Um, this hopper weighs about 250 pounds. It does not come attached. So you will need approximately three people to mount this. Two people to support the weight, one to make the final connection to the boiler. Um, this hopper is made out of steel. Very heavy, very well constructed. Next to the boiler here, we have our thermal water storage. This is 120 gallons. This is a required item on the Windhager pellet boiler. This is our PEX water inlet, buried in from underneath the ground. This is actually more like an eight wrap PEX. Um, we're in Montana, this installation is in Montana. So we have buried this six foot deep for freezing temperatures. Here is our plumbing. So this is a rear vent boiler you will have a T coming off the boiler. Now, this unit does require a barometric damper. Um, due to that, we have two T's in this installation, which is something that's kind of unique, um, but definitely something to note here. Also, um, it is recommended to have at least 16 foot of chimney on this boiler, and that is not specified in the owner's manual. That is based on personal experience. So again, something that should be noted. This is a wall thimble that we put in for the suction hose. So we do have a hopper. This is the bag hopper on the other side of the wall here. This is an outdoor installation um, in a fully insulated shed, as you can see. So it, the hopper system doesn't come with a, a wall thimble, so we used this. We're also going to bring in our combustion air through this thimble as well. That's something that should be noted. Um, this is the hopper. This is where the suction hoses will go. And this would be used if you are doing extra storage versus what is in this hopper. And if I remember correctly, this hopper holds 250 pounds. Here I am talking to you about the Lado Matte three-way mixing valve. This valve does come standard with the Windhager boilers. Um, this is a very high-end mixing valve. If you were to purchase something like this, retail price is going to be $1,000, maybe a little bit more. Now what is so unique about this and how this works, this is attached to that 120 gallon buffer tank which is required with the Windhager unit. How this works is when the house is calling for heat and the boiler might be turned off, um, this buffer tank will provide you with enough BTUs to last approximately an hour. Um, so when the house is calling for heat and the boiler is not quite up to temperature. That could take approximately 15 minutes depending on climate and the temperature of the boiler at the time. This will send hot water from the buffer tank to the home to keep up with that heat call. Um, as the house is calling for more heat and the boiler gets up to temperature, it will then send that heat to the home. Now, once the boiler has reached temperature and the home is done calling for heat and the boiler starts to head into cool down mode, this valve also works to send the hot water from the boiler back into the buffer tank while it is cooling down. Now this is very important. This is what makes Windhager one of the best pellet boilers is because this prevents thermal shock to the boiler by allowing the cold water to flow back into the boiler here. 